Hello. Today we're going to talk about plastic and elastic deformation. Now deformation is a word that we're going to come across a few times uh, in the next couple of videos. Um, it's a long word, but really it just means change in shape. Change in shape. So D is to not and form shape. So not the original shape. Um, so whenever you, uh, force applies to an object, then you've got uh, a couple of things that can happen. If you've only got one force acting on the object, so here's my helpful bit ball of Play-Doh, and if I only have one force applying to the object, then that object will accelerate. It'll get faster in one direction or another. On the other hand, in a situation where you have two or more forces acting on, on an object, then you have a range of things that can happen. So for instance, if those two forces, in this case the pressing of my thumb and my forefinger, are both acting towards the object, then that object can be compressed, um, as shown in the top corner here, which is a deformation, a change in shape. On the other hand, if, get this back into something like a ball, um, if the object, if a force is applied to either end, away from the center of the object, then the object would be stretched, in this case broken, but stretched to be longer. And the third option, if you have an object, if you have an object and you have three forces acting on it, say one that way and then two this way, then you can bend the object. So one force accelerates, gets faster in a particular direction, two or more forces, and it's either going to stretch, compress, or bend. Now, in a later topic, we're going to talk about a lot more about acceleration. So what we're really interested in right now is when we have two or more forces and we stretch, compress, or bend the object. Now, there are two types of change of shape. Remember we said deformation means a change in shape. There's elastic and plastic. Now, an example of an elastic deformation would be this elastic band here, aptly named because of the way it deforms. If I, am, if I was to stretch this elastic band and then release it, it goes back to the original shape. Now, there is a point beyond which it won't go back, but we'll talk about that in a later video. So if something elastically deforms, then it can go back to its original shape when the force is removed. Likewise with this elastic band, if I press this elastic band in like this and I let go, it returns to its original shape. On the other hand, there's a type of deformation known as plastic deformation. So this is where an object, I'm not going to attempt to stretch a, a, a steel paper clip, but I will bend the steel paper clip. So this is where an object is deformed, like that, but when the force is removed it does not return to its original shape. Some materials much more easily undergo plastic deformation than elastic deformation and vice versa. So this steel paper clip, it is possible to bend it just a little bit. Can you see that tiny little flex there? You can bend it a little bit and it will elastically deform. It will return to its original shape if you apply a small force. On the other hand, if you apply a slightly larger force, then it'll undergo plastic deformation and permanently change shape. This elastic band. Under most conditions, it will deform elastically, returning back to its original shape. But if I were to pull it far enough, then it would undergo plastic deformation. And although it would return to something closer to its original shape, it, will have, it would have been stretched permanently by a small amount. Um, if, if we go back to the, the ball of Play-Doh, it's very difficult to make Play-Doh um, deform elastically. It, has a, it would be an absolutely minute uh, force applied to make it uh, elastically deform. With even a very small uh, force applied, you are making it plastically deform. It does plastically deform very nicely, which is essentially why it's a toy for children, um, but it, it certainly doesn't elastically deform very easily at all.
So it depends very much on the material and the structure of the material, whether it will undergo elastic deformation or plastic deformation or a combination of the two, depending on the force applied. Now, these two terms apply to bending, stretching and compressing. Well, that's it for this video. Hope it has helped. Goodbye.